Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to your morning cup. Your boy W. Dubois here. Today's Friday, March 12, 2021. Um, and TGIF, thank God. Thank God that we're here. Okay, um, I'm gonna be headed over to the um Epis Twitch stream. Go spar a little bit with Maddie B, argue with him a little bit, talk shit with him a little bit. Um, y'all more than welcome to join us. I'm gonna put the link on the um in the description. And it's gonna be live by the time. I mean, if you if you catch this one, this video when it drop, it'll be right there. So you can come right on. It'll be there for a couple of hours. Um, you know, I'll put some of it on um Facebook on the Facebook page on the Epis Facebook page and so forth. But till we get there, we can do a little uh NL West preview and a lot of other sports stuff. And this is sports related this topic today, but it's a little bit you know, it's off the court. And it feel, and it has to do with the New York legend. And here he is, Patrick Ewing. I thought this was my building, and I feel terrible that I'm getting stopped, accosted, asking for passes. Everybody in this building should know who the hell I am. And I came around this building like, I, I was like, what the hell? Is this Madison Square Garden? I'm going to have to call Mr. Dolan and say, geez, is my number in the Raptors or what? All right, All right let's go to Bobby Bancroft. So, you know, it was Patrick and his Georgetown Hoyas. Of course, he's a coach. That's Patrick. Um, as This is this man, Patrick Ewing, New York Knicks legend. I mean, a lot of people would be surprised, you know, that they people don't know. Like, my peers, we all know who he is, especially in New York. If you, even if you don't watch sports, you know who that is. You know, dream teamer. People know who that is. Older heads. The young guys, we, you know, and that's what this is about, pretty much, in my opinion. Um... Pat doesn't look like here than he looked like then. But regardless, he's a legend. And um, I can't be mad at him for feeling a way. He said people was asking for ID all over the place. You know what I'm saying? Um, people are asking him um, every every corridor, security, um, running him down. They don't know who he is, you know. But, you know, especially during these times, those securities heighten. Things have changed. You know, the garden is still restricted as heck. Um, they played Villanova yesterday. His Georgetown Hoyas upset Villanova. Great job by them. And um, it's gonna get them probably into the tournament. You know, and they were on the bubble before that. Pat's done a phenomenal job at Villan. I'm sorry, at Georgetown, coaching the Hoyas. And it's funny, you know, finally got a head coaching job. He gets a head coaching job at his alma mater, um, in the Big East. And it's almost fitting, you know, he play he coaches the team that his late great coach coached, um, John Thompson, and um. He's doing a great job, and it's a shame because the Knicks never offered him a job. That's why you're going to see a lot of stories, people saying the Knicks don't like Pat, and it was easy to um, think that the Knicks did this probably, like, on purpose to get to Pat, you know, kind of like how they did Oakley, and it's not, you can't be mad at people for thinking that, and who are we to say, who am I to say that's not the reason? I'm a, I don't think that's the reason. I think it was more of a, the gardens, young people probably, or they got strict orders, and Pat didn't have his pass. You know, you know, I don't know how they handled it. They're like, yo, Mr. Ewing, listen. I know who you are, but I can't let you go, um, go through. You know what I'm saying? I got a family and stuff. Like, the way they were talking in the meeting, even you, Mr. Ewing, you, Wayne Gretzky, Michael Jordan, I can't, I need y'all to have a pass. Maybe that was the case. But, you know, so we don't know. But, like I said, I'm not going to um, make, I don't think Pat is like, you know, when you look at a quote like this, everybody in this building should know who the hell I am. You see how he said it in the um, in the presser when we just watched the audio at the beginning of the video, and then but when you read it like this, it looks like he's an arrogant, you know, jerk off, right? Oh, everybody should know who I am, you know. So it's funny when you read stuff and then you see the audio, or you try to you hear the audio, see the video, how it could come off different and context. That's why me, I'm not a big text message person. You would just read this, and you know, and you're like, damn, yo, what do you think he is? You know how you saying it like that, you know? Even though we should know who the hell he is, he's Patrick Ewing. But there's going to be people who think they take that off as arrogant. But you heard how he said it. He said it like sincerely, like, damn, yo, you know, I'm having a hard time in here. I never get treated in here like that. And I'm getting treated in here like that. What the heck? Everybody in here knows who the hell I am. You know, it's his house. If I go to my home, everybody knows who I am in there. You know what I mean, though? But I'm going to go over there and talk to um, Maddie B about it on um on the Twitch stream on Epis sports radio um you know we're doing our shit over there and you know i'm back here though man you know like i said you know here this is a little more you know it's a more broader platform 
You know, we can talk about guys, you know, legends like Patrick Ewing, or we can talk about, you know, um, scumbags like the guy, Mr. Yoster, yesterday, you know, who, who used all the church money to um, go to um, the porn site. What was it called? Flip for free. Anyway, yo, this is for free. Entertainment. Happy weekend. Happy Friday. Maybe do a video today. Again, who knows? But I'm going to go over to Twitch. I'm going to put the Twitch um, link in the um, video, the description of this video. So you can go check us out. And, you know, usually we'll be there on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8.30. Well, 9-ish. They say 8.30, but 9-ish. So, you know. And other than that, um, I'm going to see you guys, man. You know? Well, I'm a little happier than this guy today. So, you know, I'm going to see you guys on the cut. Later. Oh, <laughs>